Okay, so in this video, we're going to introduce the idea of a curve in R3, or sometimes we call them a path in R3. So um, these are functions of the form. So I'm calling gamma of t has three components, x of t, y of t, and z of t. So the x, and y, and z coordinates uh, change with the parameter t. This is really a set of parametric equations, like when we talked about uh, parametric equations in your previous classes. And something to think about here is that as you follow these, I took our current paths, is that uh, these, these, these are not just curves, but they have a direction. They have a point here. It's going to be a, a curve that goes moves on. Then how we start a starting point is going to be gamma of A. Then it'll be your ending point, gamma of B. And it has a direction, right? So you start here. And as you go through the T values from here to here, you get different, let me do it this way. It's like following a, a, a particle that's moving along here, right? And you're going to end up with gamma of B. So it's not just the curve all itself. It's like, sometimes we think of this like there's movement, there's a particle moving along here. And I'm going to use these curves to, or paths to describe objects that are moving in space. And they're going to have a velocity, and they're going to have an acceleration, and so on. So my first example is something like this, very simple. It's uh, 3 plus 2t, 5 minus 3, and 3t. So first of all, let me tell you who would be the L of the 0. It would be the 3, right, plus 2 times 0, 5 comma 0. And the L of 1, so this I'm, I'm, drawing, I'm just using the endpoints of this. And it's uh, at the 1, you get 3 plus 2, you get 5. You get 5 minus 1, you get 4, and you get a 3. Now, if you look at this carefully, this L of t, I can break it up like the, the constant part 3, comma, 5, comma, I don't have a constant in the third component, so I put a 0 there. And then I can do um, plus a t that's multiplying the 2, negative 1, 3. So this has the form p plus tv. So this is a line. Right, so lines that we talked about in the previous video are special cases of these paths, right? So not all these functions are lines, but if it has this form, yeah, this was a line that we talked about before. Right, so it has, it's a line that goes through this point, the point P, and it has the direction of the vector 2, negative 1, 3. But of course, they don't, have to, they don't all have to be lines. This one, my, my second example here, I'm going to write who would be gamma of 0. The starting point would be 2 times 0. e to the 0 becomes 1. So I'm going to put a 1 in there. And sine of 0 is 0. So it's 0, sorry. I'm not going to write a 0 here. And gamma, my ending point is at 2. So it would be uh, gamma of 2 would be 4 e to the 2 would be e to the negative 2, so I'm going to write 1 over e squared. And sine of 2 pi would have been 0. So this connects those two points, but it's not going to be on the line, right? So sometimes we can visually see what these curves look like when we have some intuition of what they look like. Sometimes we're not. And um, we need a lot of experience, a lot of examples to work that out. So this is one that's not easy to see what it looks like, and I'm going to use uh, GeoGebra to look it up. So GeoGebra is this software that you can download or in your app or something. And I'm going to graph the curve. Uh, so I'm going to call here, I can just call it like, I can just start writing parentheses uh, 2t. If you want to um, use the, you can label it and say a equals. So I, as I type it, it's going to start graphing things, but it's not going to be correct until I finish, right? So it's 2t, comma, I go back here. Oops, no, I go back to function part. Uh, 2t comma uh, e to the negative t. Oops, I was right. I was here. And do e to the negative. So I want now this keyboard is I have to get used to. Sorry about that. e to the negative t. So I have to go back to my here. And then I, I scroll forward and I put a comma. Sine of pi t. So I put sine. And go to functions and do sine of pi t. So the pi, I think if I go back here, get a pi t. So this is my function. 
Okay. So here it's graphing it everything from uh, the T's moving on. There should be a way to control from where to where. I want the T's right here, right? So it says T. See, I, I only type the first part. And if I do from 0 to 2, I can delete this and put a 0 to 2. And that's what I wanted to see. Okay. Um, okay. Something like that. Okay. So that's my third component. This is too fast. Sorry. Okay. So that's my third component. Something is weird when no one's doing it, but I think we're fine. To see axis. Okay. So this is not of lines joining the points. And here I can even say if I call a, I can say who is a of zero. And you can say who is a of zero and put a parentheses. Oops. Um, it's that point, and it's graph the point right there. And then you can say who is uh, a of two. Oops, I forgot my parentheses. Sorry. So I have two is that point. So somehow it's not graphing my curve correctly because that's I have two, right? Oh, I know what's happening. Sine of pi two is zero to two. Somehow this is not. Oh, I see what's happening. Sorry, I'm not seeing the full graph here because you go over and back up. Uh, this there you go. This is the path that was weird, right? So it connects two points on the z equals zero plane, right? But we were not seeing the second part until I put the b part that it actually goes under the z x y um, plane and then goes back up, and that's the the second point. So it starts here and it goes there. So if you graph things in in some software um, tool, you have to be careful that sometimes you have to look at the at the correct window and and you have to submit your carefully your domain that you're working with okay let me uh keep going so i'll talk about tangent vectors so so of course if you if these functions that the fu that the gamma uh is defined the gamma has three components x y and z if these three components are differentiable then you can talk about the derivative of gamma and then write gamma prime, and that's going to be uh, the derivative of each component. And I'm valuing at a point, so I'm showing that if, you, if at t0, this is a tangent vector to the path at t0. So what does that mean? It means that if you really have a curve that does something like this, and this is, uh, let's say, pick this point, if that is gamma of t0, right, this is the, the starting point, so this would be gamma of a, Oops, that would be gamma of A. The point over here would be gamma of B. So a point in between gamma of T0. If you find the vector gamma prime of T0, if you call this vector V, then that vector would look something like this. Okay? Now it's really not there, right? The vector, remember that it's going to be anchored over here. But uh, if you want to visually see it, all vectors with the same direction, same magnitude are equivalent. So you visually see it like the vector right there, right? So why would we use this? Well, of course, now you say, well, if that's the direction of a tangent vector, it's going to be, if, 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 if you think of it as like a path, it's going to be the velocity vector at each point. We'll talk about that later. But if you want to talk about the tangent line, well, then you think about it like, again, remember the tangent line is P plus TV. And V would be this vector, V. And P would be this point where you're standing right here. Right? You want a tangent line that goes to the point, the tangent that goes to the point P in direction of V. So the, the tangent line would look like, uh, the line, the tangent line would be like, uh, L of T would be P plus T times the vector V. So it would be, in this, if you want to write it down, it would be like the, the gamma of T0, that's your P point, plus T times the tangent vector, which is gamma prime at T0, right? Now, something to be aware of, it's a little bit confusing, but just as you know what's happening, the T variable for the, for the function gamma and the T variable that I'm using for the, for the tangent line if you really think of them as time, right, they're not the same, right? So just be careful. Sometimes, you, to context, you might want to call this a different variable 
um, but it's as long as you know what's happening, it's not shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, let's do an example here. Pretend I want to find the equation of a tangent line to this path at t zero equals zero. So let me copy what I just wrote. I said that the tangent line would look like um, the the p plus t v always. That's the form for a line. The p is gamma of t zero plus t times gamma prime at t zero. So t zero is zero. So I need to find who is gamma zero and who is the derivative at zero. Right. So let's find who is gamma of zero. So the function or the path at zero, cosine of zero is one, sine of zero is zero, and e to the sine of zero, sine of zero is zero, so it'd be e to the zero, so it'd be one. So that's the point. Okay. And now the tangent vector would be, let me do a different color. So if I do, um, if I do gamma prime of t, it would be negative sine t. I'm taking the derivative of these functions. The derivative of sine is two times cosine two t. And the derivative of e to the sine t to follow a chain rule, so it's e to the same thing, times the derivative of that thing, so times cosine. So that's the derivative. And this gives me a different tangent vector at each point. So I want to evaluate that on zero. So at zero, it would be zero. Cosine of zero is one, so it's two. And cosine of t zero is one. E to the zero is one, because zero, so this is uh, one, right? I think we got it right like that. Um, so my line, right, is the one, zero, my line is the point gamma of zero, which is the one, zero, one, plus t times the gamma prime of zero, which is the zero, two, one. So if you want to write in one thing, it's the one comma two t comma one plus t. That would make my tangent line. So let's see, let's use this in GeoGebra. So let me erase these guys. So I can change this one here and edit this, this curve. And my curve now is um, cosine t. Oh, I think I had, I had to erase it. So I do cosine of t. And then I go uh, comma. I think I'm right place for the comma. Uh, sine 2t. Oops, I need the number first, 2t. And then I need uh, to move over here, close that comma, and then e to the sine t. So e to the sine t. So let me erase these guys. So that should be my curve. Let me see if I can do this. I had it, I didn't tell you the domain here, but let me make that a bigger domain in case I want to, let me go from 0 to 2 pi, so how did I got that right here? 2 pi. Okay, so let me see if I can make this back to, oh, there it goes. So it is a, a curve that you see it, okay? So it's, depending on how you see it, you have that, you see that like a figure 8, but it's not overlapping, right? It is a nice curve there. Okay, so I'm doing this at the point z uh, gamma of zero, so I can uh, type here, remember I can just say, that, that's, that, that curve is called A, so I can just type here A of zero, and it will type the point, it will show the point. So let me show the point A of uh, parentheses zero, that's the one zero one, right? And you see the point right there, let me see it, that's the, the gray point that's over here, it says label A. And I'm gonna do now, the um, the tangent line. So the line is, I'm going to put, just start writing the parentheses. I can do 1, then comma uh, 2t. So I can go here and go to the letter t. And then I need a comma and the 1 plus t. So I'm going to go and do 1 plus t. And I press enter. 
And that's my tangent line. Oh, what happened? I didn't put the T, sorry. Right there, one plus, I didn't put the letter T. There you go. So there's my tangent line, I hope you see it. Um, it's a different color, I can probably change the color here, so change. Okay. And you can see the tangent line right there. Okay. And now it goes to negative values. Of course, if you want to only go to positive values, you change the domain here. Where I did T, right? I can only do the positive ones from T forward. Uh, so, okay. So you can use uh, these tools. This is a free software, GeoGebra 3D. Uh, it's a, it's a, I downloaded the app from my iPad, but you can also do it online in the browser.